So big round of applause, please, uh, for Katrina, Loretto, and Anto. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here, as it is, you know, the end of the day, and it's great to see some of you still in the room. <laughs> and I just want to know, there, you know, who in this room is entrepreneurs or, you know, working for startups? Can you just put your hand up? Okay, startups, anyone? Okay, and then companies? With corporations? Okay, good. It's good to know who's in the room. Uh, my name is Katrina Logie. I'm actually from London, living in Barcelona, and my background is communications and uh, marketing, but I also do interviews at live events, having worked in radio and particularly focused on interviewing startups. And today I'm going to talk about fostering entrepreneurship with these two. Anto and Loreto, and we're going to talk about, you know, when it comes to fostering innovation and entrepreneurship, you know, it's, there's a big role for both governments <clears throat> and corporates. So the key is finding ways to work together. Um, and we're now going to talk to these two to talk about, e particularly focused on ecosystems for entrepreneurs in terms of fostering entrepreneurship, because... They both have experience in these areas, and it just seems to make sense that, you know, it's an interesting topic as well. So, <laughs> Loretto, please, um, you know, first of all, I'm going to introduce Loretto Devel Sabado, who is General Director of Digital Economy and Innovation for Junta de Andalusia. So, uh, Loretto, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background and, you know, what, your, what you do currently? Okay, so hello everybody. Thank you, Katrina, and thank you to the organization for inviting us here. Uh, it is, we, I am very pleased to be here because it is a good opportunity to uh, talk a little bit about our ecosystem uh, in Andalusia. So thank you very much. Well, as you have just said, I am uh, General Director of Digital Economy and Innovation. And uh, in my directorate, uh, we develop uh, several functions concerning um, technology, concerning digitization. Um, we provide some services for the administration as uh, communications and cybersecurity. And uh, we have, actually, we have the, the, one of the biggest um, uh, corporate uh, communication networks in, in Europe. And we also uh, developed some uh, line of actions um, concerning um, digital economy, which means, for example, uh, promotion of uh, smart cities between uh, local administration or digitization of enterprises, uh, training citizens in the use of technology. And of course, uh, we have also two uh, acceleration programs for startups. And now with a, a very recent change of government team at the beginning of the year, we are getting closer to the startup ecosystem and we are working now very hard on uh, improving the situation in Andalusia. Great. Okay. And um, thank you, Loretta. And Anto. Thank you. So Anto is, uh, works as a project manager and social innovation for Fundesit in yeah. uh, Extremadura. So explain about what you do exactly. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, hi everyone, my name is Anto and I am part of the team of Fundefit. Uh, we are the par technological part of Extremadura, a public foundation, uh, half uh, University of Extremadura and another half government of the region. We are the people in charge to develop or strengthen the startup ecosystem, but not only the startup ecosystem, also the innovation in general. No? In my case, I am the project manager from the startup program. I am community building of, the, of all the startup ecosystem, help different uh, process uh, training, uh, different workshop to help a startup to the early stage to scale up. Okay, our idea is to, from Fundecid, we have uh, 15 people working with different kind of startup, a lot of kind. I think it's in the between 80 and 100 startup in all the region. Extremadura is a peripheral and rural area, and it's very difficult to have a center or central hub in, the, in our region. No? Our model is distributed on the territory, and 
for example, it's very difficult to, for an entrepreneur uh, living in the south of the region um, uh, attend a workshop in the north, no? For example, one was three hours by car, okay? It's very difficult. Our model is fostering entrepreneurship in the territory, okay? We, we have different incubators, small incubator, pre-accelerator programs, and also work very close with another, another initiatives like uh, Telefonica Open Future between, between Telefonica and Junta de Extremadura. Okay, we help to, to support in the process, to ask for a startup, uh, strength their uh, open calls, etc. Yeah. Okay, great. And not only that, um, Anto, but you're also an entrepreneur yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I am uh, two hats here. <laughs> I also entrepreneurs. I have a different um, initiative about uh, digital uh, business model in general. One about the uh, music industry. Uh, I, I, I run in now a discographic a label. Yeah, my idea is to develop a um, prototype to introduce block blockchain in the commercialization and distribution of the music. Mm -hmm. And another uh, initiative is a crowdfunding platform uh, funded in 2011, uh, eight years ago, uh, when I started crowdfunding. The name is Godeo. I don't know if you, uh, you know the platform, but it's only for social projects. But uh, for me, it's easy to develop a program for entrepreneurship people. Yes, for example, because you understand because it. I, I am an entrepreneurship mind, no? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're, yeah, we've got two hats. We've got two uh, people from, you know, different. One, one fr as we talked earlier, one from the cloud and one from the ground. So it's, it's interesting yeah. to have two different points of view from both sides. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let's talk about, you know, your, lo your local ecosystems. You know, how long has, you know, for example, uh, Loretto, how long has it been an area for startups in Andalusia? Well, uh, in Andalusia, um, until a couple of years ago, uh, Andalusia didn't appear in any um, reports about startup ecosystems, neither European reports nor national reports. Um, so, um, um, actually, um, yeah, before we started to work with our acceleration programs, a company a good company that wanted to uh, look for opportunities to grow, to find investment, had to go away. Um, he had to go to another cities, another places like Barcelona, like Madrid. And we know that uh, that is that we were aware that this situation was, uh, we had to change it because this talent, this uh, richness that's, that goes away, it's very difficult to bring it back. Exactly. So um, we, had, we had to change the situation. Now, um, uh, fortunately, uh, Andalusia uh, is starting to be on the map. And cities like Seville and like um, uh, Malaga mm -hmm. um, are uh, becoming very active in the startup ecosystem. And they are being considered um, uh, emerging ecosystems. Great. There are some reports, I could tell you some references, but um, uh, Seville and Malaga are considered the sixth and seventh um, hub, uh, hub for start startups in the national map, right. after, you know, behind uh, Barcelona, Madrid, Valencia, and Bilbao. And uh, Andalusia now is the fifth uh, region in Spain um, for, for, uh, for investors. Great. I mean, so we are on the spotlight. Uh, I think we 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 are now uh, our startups are becoming uh, visible and are becoming attractive for investors. Uh -huh. And um, we have a long way to go. It, we have a situation that we have to improve many things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult to go from zero to hero. Yes. But um, we are working on it. The the government is now trying to improve uh, the situation and the conditions for, for companies to, to, well, for entrepreneurs to start up in Andalusia. And I think uh, we are in the good track. 
Good, 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 good. <laughs> and, and what about Ante? What about in Extremadura? How long has it been, the ecosystem been yeah. around? In Extremadura, um, we have only two big cities. No, it's big cities because uh, 100,000 uh, inhabitants. No, it's a big city. And then in our uh, technological park, uh, the, the, the technological pole is here. Okay? But our idea no, is um, uh, concentrate uh, in, the, in one hub all the talent, all the technological components. Yes. Because for, for our own methodology, it's distributed on the territory, yeah? Right. But um, normally, Badajoz and Cáceres is the main poles technological of the, the uh, Extremadura, yeah. OK. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what, what are the sort of strengths and weaknesses of your ecosystems? What do you see that you have as, as sort of, you know, strength, and what do you see as you, as you have, uh, you know, which are weaknesses in your ecosystem? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. For for an ecosystem like uh, the Extremenian ecosystem, is is very difficult to strain. Yeah? But um, if uh, we uh, abort the problem from different kind point of view, for example, work uh, from the periphery, yeah? mm -hmm. maybe it would be an opportunity. Okay, our challenge today is attract inversions. It's very difficult. Uh -huh. But now we are uh, develop different. Uh, uh, actions to matchmaking between corporates and startups, uh, okay. different uh, ventures. But uh, the talent and the, the population is low, and the talent is low. Yeah? Mm. And the best talent always go out of Extremadura. So how do you maintain that? How do you yeah. maintain talent? Yeah. Our idea is to retain the talent and return the talent. Yeah. And for example, we have developed some activities in Madrid and Barcelona to show all the potentiality of the ecosystem, digital ecosystem, uh, really today. And the next month, for example, here in Madrid, we have developed a session about the talent to try to return the talent for the people from Extremadura. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, what, what, give me an example of what would bring them back. Yeah. An example, sorry? Yeah, an example of what would bring the talent back to your area. Yeah. Now, we, in our first time, uh, we, we cl uh, work close for the companies uh, in Extremadura. Okay, what do you need? Okay, different kind of perfils, yeah? And then go to ecosystem like Madrid, yeah? And develop a networking uh, activity to show all the opportunities. But uh, in another hand, with the government, we are developing a different activities to help to um, landing this talent of the uh, return to the regions. Okay, yeah. so is that also, you know, in terms of uh, maintaining talent, it's providing sort of, you know, development skills in terms of learning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sort of you know, the government providing, giving that t for them to build their company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does yeah. that help? Yeah, help uh, to start a new startup with grants, for example, and uh, with inversion. We have different instruments to, uh -huh. to help. If you have uh, an idea and your idea is, um, is, um, is good for our grants, uh, the money is um, high, a higher level because Extremadura is today only the, one, the region with uh, impact one for the European Union. Our okay. structural funds, there yes. are a lot of, yeah. There's a lot of them. And the structural funds, are, uh, how much? But it's very difficult to, to, to utilize these, these funds because no, it's a smart money. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, you know, so what's, you know, can, can you tell me in a nutshell what's required to build a successful ecosystem for entrepreneurs? I mean, I, I don't know, Loretta, can you answer that? Yes, of course. Well, um, I think uh, to build this ecosystem, we need um, policies, we need regulation, we need uh, a government fostering the ecosystem. Um, talent is needed. Mm -hmm. In Andalusia, for example, we have a, a huge talent. We have uh, 10 universities. We have um, many engineers, and uh, our engineers are very good professionals, um, and they are uh, well, recognized all over the world, worldwide. Uh, we need um, also asset policies, talent. We need um, 
um, entrepreneurial culture, mm -hmm. because someone said yesterday that um, to entrepreneur was not a job. Entrepreneurship was not, is not a job, it is a mindset. Yes. And I, I fully agree with that. And I think uh, we have to work the uh, cultural change to, well, to, to build this ecosystem no? from the basis. Yes. Uh, we also need financing. Yes. That's <laughs> what for else? Sure. Yeah. We need, um, uh, we need, for example, uh, resources. Uh -huh. Resources like incubation centers, like uh, acceleration programs, like, uh, you know, uh, infra inf infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructures. Infrastructure, yeah. sorry. Um, all this, no? And um, well, and I think that, that that's it. Okay. And, well, and we need the market. We need customers, of you course. Need, exactly. <laughs> if there's no market, there is yeah. no, no and, startups. And, and tell us about um, you know the acceleration programs that you're running that have been successful so far in Andalusia. In Andalusia. Yes, we 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 have two 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 acceleration programs. Both of them are in collaboration with uh, big companies. One of, the, one of them is called Minerva with Vodafone. Yeah. And the other one is Andalucía Open Future with Telefónica. And uh, well, this, uh, we have accelerated like 220 uh, companies in these five years because we, we started to work with um, uh, these programs in 2014. Mm -hmm. And uh, these acceleration programs are very focused on early stage companies. Mm -hmm. So we help them. Um, we, we we look for companies with an with a M MVP uh, minimum viable pr product, and we help them commercialize that that product or service. Or perhaps if if they are already in the market, we help them grow with some customers. Mm -hmm. And these programs, well, uh, mm, both of them, each one has uh, different char characteristics, but. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, we provide uh, mentoring, training, we provide uh, very in individualized um, support mm -hmm. for the... And uh, one thing that is very important, we, we provide net networking. We provide uh, the possibility to contact partners. Uh, for collaboration. Yes, big, big customers and... Uh, and uh, well, and financing and as, finance well. as well. <laughs> of course, yes. yes. <laughs> is it easy to find finance, or you know, is, do you find that quite challenging in terms of finding finance for startups? Yeah, yeah I think that's a, the, the huge it's, it's a challenge. Big, big challenge. <laughs> yes. and what are the what are the other challenges you find in terms of building these ecosystems? What's your what would you say is the biggest challenge? I think uh, the biggest challenge would be, for example, in Andalusia, we have many resources, a lot of resources to help our companies but they are like messed, messed up, no? And we need to organize all these resources. We have to collaborate. Uh, I mean, public sector has to collaborate with, with private sector mm -hmm. to coordinate all these resources in order to be efficient and to avoid uh, duplicities, to avoid overlaps. Uh, so in a way, we could be more efficient and, and, and uh, offer a good catalog of resources as a region uh, in a whole, no? Right. And um, and for that, it's uh, it, well, it's essential to to, to collaborate. And, yes. yes. And 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 because you, I mean, you come from public and private sector. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you sort of see it from both sides? Yeah. Right. You know, um, every sector has its own, uh, you know, interests. Yes. But I think we all want uh, Andalusia to grow. We all want uh, richness for our region. And um, we have to work together, so... Yes. So and also, it's very, you know, it'd be great to also work with other ecosystems in, in other areas. For example, you know, to, to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, for ex example, Extremadura learning, you know, from Andalusia and vice yeah. versa, and, and globally as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we have... Uh, we are doing a lot of uh, peer visit, uh, peer study visit into another ecosystem. Andalusia is similar to Extremadura. It's more, it's bigger. Um, for example, Seville is a big city, one million inhabitants. Um, they they have more startups. Yeah, but I think in return to the, your question about the challenge, mm. I think the principal challenge 
in our ecosystem is the same challenge in Spain ecosystem in general is the scale up. Yeah. Mm. Scale up in, in general in, in Spain and Europe is the problem, the big problem. Okay. The scale up. Because yeah. no the investment maybe would be a problem, but I think no, in our case. Because okay. you have a good idea, the money appear always. Yeah. Yes. The money appear always if you have a good idea and develop with the team. A uh, very good team, but uh, the the challenge, the big challenge is in the European ecosystem startup is the scale up. Okay. Okay. For this reason, uh, we are develop also different instrument to to help to foster the scale up of the enterprise. Not only pre um, pre incubator program, for example, with different European project. Also, FETES is the name of uh, one of the European project is transfer uh, cross border with Portugal. Um, another pro incubation process, also in the university, an uh, open innovation program and a scale-up program. Right. But uh, the scale-up program is the most, diffi the most difficult. Yeah. Okay, and what does it take to scale up? I mean, you have to have someone who understands sales and also mm. money. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the problem is, uh, for the scale-up is the, um, the problem to work very close to the big player. I think, okay? If you work inside a big player, for example, for me, a uh, big player maybe will be Telefonica. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you work close to the, in the, in the same value chain of Telefonica, your factor may be scale up, yeah? Mm -hmm. But um, it's very difficult in the market in general, the, the scale up, and understand the scale up to American way, okay? We mm -hmm. need, I think we need to re redefine the the um, the the world scale up, yeah, mm -hmm. in Euro European. I, I I think we need to develop a new uh, European way for growth, yeah, mm -hmm. and maybe um, similar to the territories and not the big startup um, hubs in the world like Tel Aviv or like uh, Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. So it's learning about you know how to scale up basically. That's what. Yeah. needs to be learned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can and I say something yes. about what he said? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, he said that money comes to the startups. And I, I don't really agree with that because uh, money is in Madrid and Barcelona. And there's where the investors are. Mm. And I don't think they are going to come to, to look for you. You have to go to the, these hubs. Uh, our experience in Andalusia is that uh, we have many resources for early stage um, uh, companies, as I said before. But when the times come for uh, for company to grow to scale, uh, they have to go away, and that's what we're trying to change. We have we have done many things, and we are working on that because we don't want these companies to go away after we have uh, invested so many resources on them. Yes. Because uh, Andalusia is uh, an excellent place to live and to work as yes. well. Quality of life, uh, labor, uh, labor and living costs very low. Blue, yeah. uh, many, many things. Talent, uh, great professionals, um, the wine, the food, everything yeah. is perfect. <laughs> that uh, helps. That helps. But, but so we want that, that, that those uh, companies not only to be born in Andalusia, but to consolidate in Andalusia. Right. And what so. are the sectors you focus on in terms of these startups? What are the areas that uh, you know, you're particularly focused in in your ecosystem? Yes. Uh, in Andalusia, we have a big opportunity, in my opinion. Uh, and that is that uh, our economy is based in very traditional sectors, like agriculture, agri-food, um, uh, re retail, uh, industry, tourism. And those sectors uh, need digitization. So, uh, I think it's a huge opportunity for, for, opportunity for startups to, to come and help with that yes. task that we have. Okay. Yeah. And, and pretty much the same for you, Yeah, it's similar. similar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't have a big, a big vertical for, yes. for work, but uh, our specialization, regional specialization, is similar to Andalusia. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of, you know, uh, attracting money for these startups, how do you go about it? How do you 
you know, create money for these startups? Mm -hmm. how, how? <laughs> yeah, because that, that's one of the challenges. Well, we, we have, um, in Andalusia, we have had, uh, I think, successful experiences like, um, for example, we have uh, invested in some companies with partic par participative loans. So with that, we have attracted uh, private uh, fundings as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, for example, uh, are um, supporting investment events in, in Andalusia, Salamba Venture, which is a very big and important uh, event. And now we are working on, as well, on identifying the best startups in our region mm -hmm. and try to promote them outside, outside Great. and bring them to, to other places like South Summit or wherever. To uh, and you're organizing a roadshow, aren't you, next yes. year? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we are. <laughs> Good, so that will help, that gives it visibility. Yes, yes, mm. right. And, and with Anto, you actually are very good at building the community around these startups for networking opportunities and also diversity and inclusion, mm. you know, so from different sectors coming yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. Our idea is to, um, in, in, my, in my case, as a community builder, mm -hmm. we try to develop a program, um, identify the necessity of the community, really. And normally the community of a startup uh, start to work in a small community, or meet up, uh, develop a different boot camp, or develop a hackathons about a challenge. No? Mm -hmm. um, and our, our job is to shake the, the, the cocktail, yeah, mm -hmm. and help uh, to develop um, event bigots or travel to South Summit. For example, in our stand, we have two startups. Uh, two, two months ago, we developed in Extremadura a fast track to Great. access to South Summit. Great. Uh, to and select the best, uh, the best startup, yeah. Great, and hackathons as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're... we're just for the last sort of question, what has been your biggest learning so far and where do you see yourself going in the future for both of you? Hmm. Starting with uh, Anto. Mm -hmm. My first um, or my principal learning when I travel in, for the world in different ecosystems, uh, in, in my case in Extremadura it's very difficult to scale up another model. Um, my learning in this year working very close to the startups, I think we, we need to develop our own system, our own mechanisms, our own public and private partnership for funding, for example. Mm -hmm. We need different mechanisms to uh, smart money. The, um, the smart money for the public administration, I think, is the solution for startups because the, uh, we have a lot of public money, but it's very difficult to spend in a startup, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you develop different mechanisms to pu public and private partnership uh, to convert this public money in a smart money, mm -hmm. I think maybe will be the solution. But um, um, I think the idea you now is scale up, uh, or see, scale up things that happens in London to, to rural and peripheral areas like Estonia. To learn from them. Mm -hmm. to learn from them. And, and Loretta, what's been your biggest well, learning? Well, I, th I think we need... Uh, what, uh, last... Uh, yeah, one minute. Yeah. <laughs> to finish the first. <laughs> we need collaboration and partnership. I think that's essential. And uh, I think to work with the ecosystem, you have to listen to the ecosystem. Yes. So I think that's well, essential. No? So now uh, we are working on a general plan to develop and to foster this ecosystem. And we are working it in a very open way of work uh, with uh, open consultation, uh, giving everybody... Open uh, innovation. Open innovation with um, uh, trying to do focus groups to listen to everybody, to, um, to, to uh, listen to all the contributions. And I think that's important. Okay. Work, listen to the startups. The startups listen to their clients. We yeah. have to listen to startups. Yeah. So you're actually learning from each other. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, thank you both very much for joining this panel. And um, I hope you've learned a lot of you. <laughs> I mean, it's very nice that you're all here. <laughs> and thank you for, um, for having us, South Summit. So thank okay. you both. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>